Good morning. Thank you for being with me. Ah, what a diamond field. <laughs> yes, I just was uh, out of my porch here and I had my arms out praising the Lord. And I want to tell you, you are loved. You are wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Wonderful are your works, the works of God. God made you a diamond. <laughs> Just like those diamonds, those crystals in the snow, the sun hitting that snow from 93 million miles away. I could feel the heat of the sun. Oh, thank you, God, that you have made us. And you can make it through this day. There is a way. Remember, and this, this is on the authority of God's Word. Psalms 139 starts like this, and I'll read portions of it. O oh Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. Thank you, God. You know every one of us. You know our heart. You know our thoughts. Again, I start. O oh Lord, you have searched me, and know me. Verse 13, for you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. And if I can get off this chair, <laughs> my wife, she I just put this furniture together for her. <laughs> and... Uh, I've got this camera up on top of the table. It's just about ready to fall off if I hit it. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't. I'm the hatted man. <laughs> but I wanted you to see that diamond field because uh, when the sun moves, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it very quickly. But you can smile uh, knowing uh, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God don't make no junk. And if someone's telling you differently that you're junk, they're wrong. Maybe you're telling yourself that you're junk. You're wrong. Believe the truth of God. He has made you fearfully and wonderfully. And that means the, the grammar and the Hebrew words used here, this gives us this meaning. Describes each of us as continually being held and esteem and awesome. God continually holds us as his creation, awesome, esteemed by him. We are precious to God. And that's why God came from heaven in the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said it himself, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. He is God the Son. And I begin that again, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All of us need to be rescued from perishing because of sin. Because of us in our life turning away from God and going our own way. But Lord, we choose to turn towards you, Jesus, and follow you, Jesus, as Lord and Savior. If you haven't made that decision yet, know that God still loves you. Tells you that, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Everyone in this world God loves. And everyone in this world God made fearfully and wonderfully. They're not junk. You're not junk. And the Lord God sustains you. He gives you a way. He made you. He gives you a way to go through each day. Look for that way and you'll find it. A right way to go through every day. And I'm looking at that diamond field out there, and I'm smiling. And I'm saying, thank you, God. We're a diamond in the rough, I feel. 
you're chiseling away all the undesirable things in our life to make us more like you, God. For we are created in your image. That's how special we are. We are created in your image. You have made us like you so that we can communicate with you. You desire for us to love you as you love us. I thank you, God, that you came from heaven, Jesus, to rescue us from our sins, to forgive us of our, our sins, to pay the penalty of death for our sins, was, was separated from God because you bore our sins. You took our place on that cross, Jesus, and suffered the death that we deserve for our sin. I thank you, Jesus. It was no little thing. It was no little torture. It was no little crucifixion where you ran out of breath. You chose to not breathe anymore. You chose not to pick yourself up anymore to take a breath hanging on that cross. And you suffocated to death for the forgiveness of our sins. And you, before that, you were beaten almost to death bloodied and marred, that you did not even look like a man anymore, the scripture tells us. May we take our sin, may we take your crucifixion not lightly. And know, out of your great love, you did this for us. You planned this before the foundation of the earth. You knew. You, O oh God, created mankind perfectly. And yet mankind chose to walk away from you and disobey you. Oh Lord, we come to you. I come to you, Lord, to follow you and obey you this day. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's the scripture I shared, I believe, the last message. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be miserable in it. No, 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 no. <laughs> be glad in it. <laughs> If you see yourself as special to God, and He loves you, and He'll always love you, don't let Him have to. Uh, don't let Him have to allow you to perish because of rejecting Him. Follow Him. Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your risen Lord and Savior from the dead. Oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. You died in a place on the cross for our sins and you rose from the dead. You lived today to live in us through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that we have the power of you living in us, that we can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, for you live in us, O oh Lord Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, the Bible teaches us. Thank you, God, for my mother writing in my first Bible. Philippians 4.13, that says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And that's what the Apostle Paul wrote as he was in prison for his faith in Jesus. And that's what we can say because we have faith in Jesus as our risen Lord and Savior. Thank you for being with me. Look for the good. Look for the beauty of God's creation. Listen for the beauty of God's creation. It all cries, God is alive, God made it, and he is wonderful, and he desires to live with you in his kingdom, glorious kingdom forever and ever. That will be more beautiful than that sparkling diamond field of crystals. <laughs> I just wonder if there'll be snow in heaven. Our God will be everything, and more than we can imagine. Scripture tells us, uh, <laughs> praise God, praise God, thank you.